Welcome to the Children's Liturgy of the Word for the second Sunday of Advent. Let me ask you a question. Wait, can you even see me? I have so much stuff here in the way. There's, there's Christmas stuff and Christmas gnomes. Let's get this out of, out of the way. And oh, a wonderful Advent book, but that's in the way. And this Christmas tree thingy. I forgot to make a clear path for you to see me. That reminds me of today's gospel. In today's gospel, we're going to hear John the Baptist tell us to prepare a way for the Lord, to prepare a way for Jesus. So wherever you are right now, whatever you're doing, I want you to stand up for the good news of Jesus Christ. And let's sing our Advent Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The beginning of the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord, and may the word be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. This is the good news about Jesus Christ, the Son of God. It began just as God had said in the book written by Isaiah the prophet. I am sending my messenger to get the way ready for you. In the desert someone is shouting, get the road ready for the Lord. Make a straight path for him. So John the Baptist showed up in the desert and told everyone, Turn back to God and be baptized. Then your sins will be forgiven. From all Judea and from Jerusalem, crowds of people went to John. They told how sorry they were for their sins, and he baptized them in the Jordan River. John also told the people, Someone more powerful is going to come and I am not good enough even to stoop down and untie his sandals. I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There's something missing here. Did you notice that in the Gospel? Something or, or someone is missing. Who didn't we see or hear from in the gospel? Yeah, Jesus! The gospels are all about Jesus' life. And every Sunday when we hear the gospel, we usually hear a story that Jesus is telling his disciples and us, or hearing about something amazing that Jesus did. But he's not in this gospel. Instead, we're hearing about John the Baptist. John the Baptist was Jesus' cousin, and he was only a few months older than Jesus. But God gave him a very special mission to get everybody ready for Jesus. Now, not the baby Jesus, but get ready for Jesus to come and start his work of loving and saving people. So he went out and told everybody, turn back to God, get ready, prepare a way for the Lord. Prepare a way for for Jesus. See, Advent is all about getting our hearts ready to welcome Jesus at Christmas time and welcome him when he comes into our lives and at the very end of time, like we talked about last week. So how do we get ready for Jesus? How do we get ready for Christmas? Well, you may say, Mr. Dominic, I get ready for Christmas by putting up my Christmas tree and putting up the lights and getting presents ready. And that's wonderful. Christmas is the greatest time of year, isn't it? But that's not what Jesus is talking about. Jesus isn't going to come on Christmas Day and say, hmm, what a beautiful tree you have. You must be ready for me. No, Jesus is going to look in our hearts. John the Baptist is telling us, get our hearts ready for Jesus to live there in a new, wonderful way. You know, in a way, it's like our heart is like a creche. A creche is that fancy word for what Jesus as a baby was laid in in the manger, filled with straw, right? Our heart is like that, and Jesus wants to come and live in our hearts, especially at Christmas. He's coming again in a wonderful way. But 
What if we have stuff in our hearts so Jesus doesn't have room to be there? What if we have things like hate for other people in our heart or, or anger? Or what if we've hurt other people and, and we have sins that need to be forgiven? All those things are like rocks that get into question. Jesus doesn't want to delay there, right? Whenever we've done something wrong or, or mean to someone or if we're being selfish and only care about ourselves, well, then there's no room for Jesus. And so what John the Baptist told us to do was to ask God for forgiveness so God can remove all those hard stones in our heart so that he can live there. You know, whenever we pray, whenever we love other people, whenever we forgive other people who've been mean to us or done something wrong to us, and especially, especially when we ask God to forgive us, it's like we're putting a, a soft blanket in our heart for Jesus to come and live in us. So this Advent is the perfect time to turn to God, to ask Him for forgiveness. If you're old enough to go to confession, that's a great way to prepare for Christmas. And if you're not, you could still write God a letter saying you're sorry or, or pray to Him. Maybe add some extra prayer time with your family to get ready for Jesus. Talk to your parents and godparents and grandparents about how you can get your heart ready for Jesus, just like we get our houses ready for Christmas. Okay, I want you to find a partner and say, God lives in me. Okay, now point to your partner's heart and say, God lives in you. Wave your fingers in the air and say, the Holy Spirit moves in me. Remember, Jesus is coming with the Holy Spirit. Okay, and now wave your fingers in front of your partner's face and say, the Holy Spirit moves in you. Take your partner's hands and say, we are God's people. Point outside and say, let's go spread the good news. Let's go prepare a way for Jesus to come into our lives at Christmas and always. See you next week.